Welcome back ladies and gents, we're going to be looking at section 9 now um, which is all about using a data validation to create a drop down list um, and to put simply um, as you can see in the summary sheet here it would be nice to have um, a number of things to go on underneath this but have a, um, a means of connecting uh, information to a specific field so uh, maybe some information about specific movies so by clicking here, we should see a list of the names of the films that we have on that data set. So what we're going to do first is this, and then we'll talk about how we're going to use that. So in a moment, we're going to basically have a drop-down list here. So this is the original uh, table, as you can see. You know, we've had a few changes so far, which is fine. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to make a new first tab here. So you can see I've already started this. So all you've got to do is click on this plus button here, drag it across, double-click inside name this to something that's appropriate in this case I'm gonna call it list of movies I've copied the name of movies literally from the top here and now what I'm going to do is basically in fact it might be easy just to go click and hold all the way down and you're basically selecting all the movies now I know we don't need every single one of these because there's going to be some duplication involved so we're going to copy this and then go in here and just paste it straight in here there we go. Now we want to get rid of the duplicated um, data. So we're going to click and hold here, drag all the way down to the bottom until you have the last record. There we go, the last one. Um, you can drag this back up again. And we're going to go to data, remove duplicates, um, yes, and press OK. And that should. There we go, perfect. And it's only le left us with uh, exactly the um, a unique list of films that we uh, have in this original table. Okay, now we're gonna use this here to have a drop down list here. So once you've gone here and you typed in name of movie, you go in here, um, in fact you could be a bit more clever and put select movie instead as an instruction you go in here then you go to I believe it's in data again and we want to go to data validation and we're going to go to data validation again and now we're going to change this to instead of any value you want it to be a list uh, there it is and you're going to go to where it says source and click on this button here and you're going to go to the new worked worksheet that we just created the list of movies and just select that new unique list of films you can click back onto here and then press OK. Now the difference now you'll see is when you click on this, you get the list. Okay? Like so. So it minimizes the need to uh, type anything there and also minimizes the risk of people making spelling mistakes or typing the wrong data. Uh, so that's the reason why we do it. So convenience, it's easier, it's more efficient. And of course, we're going to uh, look at how we can utilize this uh, and make it, uh, well, useful, basically. So we need to, you need to now screenshot that and this and place it into here, explaining what you've done and why you've done it. 